Gymnocladus dioicus is the Kentucky coffee tree. This is a native plant um, to the kind of the middle part of the country and eastern from here. Um, it's a canopy tree. It's it's yeah, you can see the size on there. Not huge, but um, up to sixty feet high. Um, it does have sort of a, a, a you know a, a single trunk like most trees. The, the thing that really is going to help you identify this plant is this leaf. This is all one leaf. This is a bipinnate or two times pinnate, twice compound leaf. Um, it's kind of late to leaf out, but all of this comes out of one bud. So you have the center raceous, then you have uh, another sort of step of raceous, and then you have the, the leaflets that um, are attached there. Um, so... Um, when we look at this, we'll, we'll definitely take a look at this leaf, uh, leaf type. Uh, we're only going to have maybe two plants that have, or three plants that have a bipinnate leaf, so it's a really good identific identification feature. The stem on the Kentucky coffee tree um, has to be really stout to be able to hold a leaf that large. So you don't see a lot of secondary branching. You see. Um, sort of almost, you know, spare branching because the leaves are so large. You can't have a lot of twigs really close or the leaves wouldn't fit in there. Um, the flowers are dioecious, so you'll have uh, male flowers and female flowers on different plants. They have a little bit of a slight fragrance. And then on the female plants, you get these pods, which they start out sort of a light green like this and then mature to this sort of leathery color. Um, really hard pods, and they contain some seeds that have actually been used as coffee substitute, but the whole sort of pod uh, in, in, as a whole is, is poisonous. It's kind of speculated that roasting um, destroys the toxic properties of the fruit, um, but there have been instances where cattle have been poisoned in water, you know, in ponds or stock tanks, where the fruit has has fallen in, um, this shows uh, the uh, when you when you split open the pod, these kind of large, um, rounded, flat um, seeds, and then the fall color is yellow. You can see this kind of a little bit of an open canopy, um, this open silhouette. Um, on the younger trunks, you see a splitting like this bark right here, where it sort of splits and curls up. It's a light gray. And then as the tree matures, um, it gets more of a, a scaling type flattened scales to the bark character.